Welcome back to New Day Northwest. You know I love a good summer read. I also love getting good reading suggestions from the pros. So here with her top picks for summer is Karen Maya de Allman from Elliott Bay Book Company. Welcome to New Day. Oh, thank you. Thanks, You've been Andy. with Elliott Bay for 23 years? I have. That's it's been amazing, an amazing time. Pioneer Square and now on Capitol Hill. Oh, I it's love been a, it. a dream job. Dream yeah. job. And yeah. you read so many books, yeah. books of your life. So I'm excited that we have you here talking about summer reads because I just finished, I'm just actually about to finish my Jasmine Silvera novel. So oh, I'm yes. ready for a new one. Um, all right, so the first one is uh, Ellen Hildebrand, The Hotel Nantucket, and this person is one of the best writers, yeah, right? She's called the queen of beach reads for a reason. Yeah. And this is number 28. It's set in a hotel, so I love that kind of story. Has a little romance, has a little intrigue, and certainly has the townies and also the people who are the glamorous guests who are coming from elsewhere. Ooh. So it's a beautiful novel. She also has some vacation tips in the back. Oh, she does? Yes, How in case you want to go to Nantucket. <gasps> I, that yeah. is very fascinating mm -hmm. because a lot of times you read the books and you have to look it up yourself, but that's very mm -hmm. helpful. Thank you, Ellen. All right, so one, two, three by Lori Frankel. So Lori Frankel, of, of course I have to include a Seattle author, and Lori Frankel is one of my favorites. This is her fourth novel, and one, two, three is set in a fictional Northwest town, which has become a super fun site. Ooh, and there are three, no. they're triplet girls, they're 16 years old, and their mom, and their mom is trying to figure out how to, how to deal with this lawsuit that's been going for, for three years, who has, which has so affected the family. Mm. It's a really warm story of, of three sisters, sisterhood, and also a story of unexpected allyship. Oh, and, that's nice. Yeah. And for anyone who doesn't know, a super fun site is when the area has been so damaged ecologically logically that the government has to step in and it's a big deal when that happens. So this is probably very yes. fascinating and educational. Imagine a City, a Pilot's Journey Across the Urban World. Yes, by Mark Van Hoenecker. He is a long haul uh, pilot and his first book was called Skyfaring. Mm -hmm. And in that book he figured out, uh, he tells us how he became a pilot and also um, a little bit about how pilots navigate. This book is about his, um, his experiences with cities, both the city he was from, which is Pittsfield, he couldn't wait to leave it, um, but finds himself returning again and again as he does on his flight. And so it's the pilot's eye view and also what it's like to revisit cities many, many, many times for short periods, but yet become attached. But yeah. Become attached. And you know what, Th this book, this is one of the reasons I love an actual mm -hmm. book. What do they call this when the when the pages are cut like oh, this? Oh, it's a decalage. A so decalage. Fancy. So it it feels really neat when you're reading it. I just love an actual physical book. Okay, On Lighthouses by Jasmina Barbera. Barrera. So Yes, so <laughs> this is a translation from this from Spanish, but um, it is it starts out in the Northwest, and she collects lighthouses. So by that she means she travels from place to place and visits them. So some of the lighthouses she visits are on the Oregon coast, some are in Spain, and she has a beautiful interlude at the Sylvia Beach Hotel, in which all of the um, all of the rooms are named after writers, and there are items in there that that kind of give you the feel of the writer's flair, and also books by those writers. Ooh, so interesting. That is such a beautiful book. Is there a bell jar in the Sylvia Plath room? Ooh, Ooh, you'll have to find out, you'll have to visit. All right, and mm -hmm. finally, The Five Wounds. The Five Wounds um, by uh, Kristen uh, Quaid is uh, a book that has been championed by our booksellers. It was featured in our newsletter, and it's also on our Staff Recommends wall. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the story of the Padilla family, in New Mexico and as it starts out the 15 year old daughter is pregnant mm. and she is coming home um, to a father that she doesn't know very well and her grandmother and her auntie. It's a really beautiful family story that deals with some of the issues that I think a lot of families are dealing with now which are addiction, also um, kind of trying to figure out your place in the world. And, I love uh, that. Yeah, it's such a beautiful, beautiful story. When I read books like this, I find whether or not they relate so much to my own life, they're mm -hmm. healing. Yes. Because the human character is, is 
is oh, the same with everyone. So, absolutely. oh my goodness, I cannot wait to get started. I can't wait to come down to Elliott Bay Books because oh, I just, do. I was just telling her I invested in my book light because mm -hmm. I miss reading actual books mm -hmm. and it's so good and it feels so good and it's so therapeutic. So I will be seeing you soon. Oh, wonderful. Thank and you so, so much. Thanks for inviting us over to, to speak with you today. Really appreciate it. Oh, we'll see you yeah. back soon.